kind of doing some precipitation here today. So I thought what a perfect day to start working on some upcoming holiday cards, gift cards, and things like that. So my last Facebook Live, I was asked to do some gift cards. So if you want to see some um, other gift cards, just go ahead back to my playlist for my Facebook Lives and you'll see the gift card one that I did. So I was playing around last night and I thought, well, you know, looking online and just looking for some ideas, came across, um, I think her name was Stamfastic, I believe, and I apologize if I got that wrong, but she had a really fun gift card that was created and it's like a card, but a gift card. So I kind of took her layout design and I made it my own, like most of us demonstrators do. So here's what I came up with. I have a couple I'm going to share with you. I also incorporated um, paper pumpkin kits. So this was the kit for, this is a November um, winter gifts kit. I incorporated that. And I also incorporated the October winter woods kit. Now, these, both these kits work together fabulously to begin with. And if you're not a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, definitely check it out. So, um, here are some of the cards that I came up with. And these are just so easy. And if you have a lot of designer series paper laying around, this is a great way to use them up. So, let me bring it up to show you. Um, again, you know, the deer was taken from the November kit. Um, the stamps were from November kit and I'm going to show you the inside because this is actually um, a card size. Um, let me look here on my, this grid paper always gets me a little confused. So it's a six by um, four and three quarters. So it's a great presentation to give if you're giving a gift card and a card. So let's open one of these up and I'm going to show you how easy this is to do. Now I put the ribbon on here so it just kind of slides off. So I mean they can untie it if they want but this just kind of slips under there. Here's the inside. Now if you have a, a just very plain card inside, you can zhush it up how you want. You can stick your gift card up here if you choose. If you don't want to make it a card, you can just make it a card front and put your gift card on there. Slips into this little pocket right here. And I kind of have a little bit of the um, very vanilla tucking out at the top. And then this kind of closes by just tucking right underneath here just like that and that holds it closed and put your ribbon back on you're good to go so um, the great thing you can do is if you have any of our note cards and envelopes you can just incorporate them um, I would probably spruce this up a little bit more but it's just a sample and I'm just showing you you know how it all goes so let me show you how easy this is to create put that one aside um, here's another one for inspiration. Now, unfortunately, I believe this paper in the holiday catalog has all been sold out, but we have tons of other designer series paper, and you can get two out of one of the papers. So let's go ahead and bring in our paper. So here we have, this is, oh, this was beautiful paper. If you got it, oh, cut it up and let's use it, right? So we're going to take our 12 by 12 sheet, and I have my new um, Stampin' Up! paper cutter. This is definitely a must if you don't have a paper cutter or you're looking to upgrade. So um, you do want to be careful as to the pattern direction. So I want my stripes to go up and down. So I'm going to put this in. The great thing about the new cutter is there's a little ledge here that it kind of sticks up on, like sticks up a little bit, catches your paper top and bottom. And right there is your six inches. So there's no having to measure in the crack of your um, paper trimmer. And I'll tell you, these blades are super, super sharp. So you'll be able to get two out of it. And you can mix and match however you want to lay it out. So, okay, so we have our paper cut 6 by 12. You want to go ahead, I'm going to have to pull this out. This is the extender blade. It takes up a lot of room on your desk, so give yourself some room. Um... I kind of have like he's this huge desk and I kind of have myself stuck at this small little spot. Let me give you the, the dimensions. I have a little post-it note here. 
So um, let me see. Let me put it right here for you. So your designer series paper is going to be cut at 6 by 12. You want to score at... I have to move my coffee cup. You want the scoring blade is the lighter color blade. So you want to score at two, two, and you want to score at seven, and then you want to score at ten and a half. About there, ten and a half. Okay, so now we can move this out of the way. Now again, your inside note card, if you don't have the note cards and envelopes, those are cut at five by seven. And um, I basically used the very vanilla. I mean, I didn't have any of them available, so I cut it at five by seven and um, scored it at three and a half and fold that over. And there is your note card for the inside. And what I did with that, um, I kind of won't go into detail with that, just looking for where my scraps are. Um, save your scraps. Scraps are like a beautiful thing to me. Um, and I'm looking for them. You know how when you think you have yourself all organized? Well, we'll find them. But just cut yourself a strip to go across the front. Um, just like this one. And then you can stamp inside. Again, I used paper pumpkin um, stamps to stamp inside. That one wasn't a good one. Here's the one from inside. Um, use the same designer series paper and just stamped inside um, with wishing you a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Use those little snowflakes. Very simple. Okay, so back to our card. So that would be your little note card that goes inside. And again, choose to decorate that how you wish. Okay, so we're going to get our paper. Now, the scoring blade makes it very nice and light so you don't have to worry. So the one on the bottom where the ten and a half was, you're going to want to fold that up so that's going to be our fancy part. And then, um, let me think, I have to think about this. So this one is going to get, nope, this one is going to get scored, folded down, okay, on the next one. And then, where's my other score? That one is going to get scored up. And, all right, hold on a sec. <laughs> I get confused sometimes. You know how that goes, right? Okay, so here we go. Okay, so this is how it's going to be. So the one and a half, I want the fancy side to show up. So that's going to get scored down. All right, or up, however you choose to do it. And then the striped is going to go down and this way here. I mean, however you want to do it, but that's how my card is going to go. Okay, so simple as that. So you want to um, glue down this little flap. I'm just going to use um, some of my, put my glue in this little fine tip because I find it works better that way for me. So that'll be folded down there. Now I want to use my tear and tape on putting the actual gift card together, the holder together. So um, I don't want to glue my topper or the bottom. I'm just going to put along the sides here. A little bit there because if you use glue when you when the glue um, ends up drying sometimes it may remain sticky and then your cards gonna get stuck in there and we don't want that to get stuck in there and my take your pick tool would be handy here but just peel that paper off just as simple as that I cut my nails today so of course I don't have any nails to grasp this <laughs> you know how that is right let me just use my paper snips here to just kind of grab onto that. Oh my goodness. Fine dexterity skills are failing for today. Okay, so then you want to fold that up. Okay, so it's as simple as that. Now, um, of course, your little ribbon. You would tie that. And what I used, I think this is still available. This is the gold edged um, vanilla ribbon. It has that pretty gold edge. And even though this is copper, I mean, it still goes. So, let me show you how to do that. This is very simple. Many of you have issues with tying bows. If you do, you know, you can just do a knot here. You don't have to tie a bow. So, I'm just going to wrap that around and do this. And tighten that up. Be careful when you tighten it up so you don't end up bending. And then you just make one loop. 
you take this and you'll notice I'm still attached to my roll um, because I tend to work that way because if for some reason I have too much or too little you can adjust when you're doing it as opposed to just cutting once you cut I mean you're committed to that so so there we go there's a pretty bow and of course I would want to use my um, ribbon scissors if I had them close by, so let's just see how these are going to work. Oh wait, here's my ribbon scissors. How could I miss them, right? And they're these big honking pair of scissors. <laughs> you want to make sure when you're doing your paper crafting, you have paper scissors and you have ribbon scissors. So you have ones that are devoted to each one because once you cut paper with them, they're not ever going to cut fabric or ribbon. So there is that. How pretty, right? Now, here are all the elements from the paper pumpkin kit. And you may choose to um, use any of these to embellish. So what is what I did is I took this tag. And I'm not going to throw any of this away. Um, this is the two and a half inch punch. And this actually fits perfectly with just a little bit of the poppy parade coming through and save that because you can use that right you don't want to throw nothing away and um, in this let me just share with you this I'm going to be running out of time soon so I use this to do the circle I'm going to use this piece put it on my paper trimmer and just trim off a quarter of an inch <clears throat> of that Gosh, I'm telling you, I can always tell when the weather, <coughs> excuse me, um, is going to turn for the worse because my arthritis in my hands just tells me so. <laughs> so, <coughs> oh man, I'll tell you, I'm like a hot mess today, aren't I? I apologize. Okay, so I'm using some of the elements of the kit. And um, where's my, okay, this here. Going to put some glue on here and I'm going to attach my little banner in there and then this is going to get glued to the front of this little circle I punched out and I love that wood grain look of that I just think that that is just amazing okay so now when you go to put this on and um, let's see how about we use I think I used up all of my deer then I use my deer I mean you can use the little snowflakes I'm just picking out of my little kit here um, there's pretty snowflakes you can use um, this came the, now again these all these components came out of the paper pumpkin kit um, here's a little sled that's a little bit too much I think um, there's a little tree we can incorporate that kind of blends too much I mean the deer is really the super duper thing for me so I'm thinking maybe like this cute little bird we can incorporate that um, maybe put a little something there a few of these little snowflakes maybe or some little holly let's do that okay I have all of my little components. I punched them out and put them in this cute little acrylic tray. I shared this with um, my paper pumpkin um, subscribers on a previous um, video I did. Ooh. Oh, Susan, Susan, Susan. <laughs> I'm just batting a thousand here. I don't even know why I'm doing a video today with my hands not wanting to work, but. Um, it's a perfect day for that. So, I need my little pick tool. If I had that little pick tool right here, which I don't know, I'd have to look for it. Um, that would be ideal. Okay. Oh, I do see it now. Come on, stick there. Okay, so we can do a little embellishment here. Let's do this. Let's put that there. And our little bird, we have these little tiny dimensionals that Stampin' Up! provided. So we can go ahead and stick them on there. Stick our little bird. Do a little sampling. And I'm running out of time. So um, that's how you would create your card. So I hope you give it a try. If you do, 
please be sure to share it. Let me know how it worked for you. Thanks so much for joining me. We'll see you back here again real soon. Bye-bye for now.